Hua Gu, a folk dance in Fengyang County, is a popular pastime with the locals. But Xiaogang village isn't renowned for the dance. Instead, it's remembered as the pioneer of a family contract system which ushered in China's new age of reform. Few outsiders know that four decades ago the locals were so poor they needed to dance on the streets for money just to survive. Forty years ago, every family went out for begging, simply because we didn't have enough to eat. I have six children, but the yield was never enough to feed them. Years of collective farming in the people's commune devastated the farmers' vigour. They finally decided to work for themselves, even though individual family farming was considered a serious crime back in the late 1970s. This is a photocopy of the secret agreement signed in December 1978 in a house behind me. According to the agreement, 18 local villages you see the names on the thumbprint. They divided the land which belonged to the local people's commune into a family plot. They also agreed that should they be caught or sentenced to death, the other villagers would raise their children until they were 18 years old. Fortune favoured the brave. Six months later, the families reaped a very productive harvest. Yan Jin Chang was one of the courageous farmers. None of us were punished for dividing the farming fields. All the facts prove that we were able to make the changes. Our pursuit of a better life is the drive to overcome all barriers. The 18 farmers not only went unpunished, their initiative was recognized by the provincial government. Their family contract system, which allow farmers to contract land and reap the harvests, was soon implemented around the whole country. It greatly emancipated productivity and people's minds. Now, four decades later, China's rural reform has entered another new stage, and so has Xiaogang village. As the right of land management was transferred to the farmers, the issue of hunger was resolved, but individual farming on the fragmented fields was not the way to bring more wealth to the farmers. Yan Jin Chang and his fellow villagers are still contracting the farming land, but they are not the only ones managing the farming. More than half of the land has been leased to farming companies and experts. In such a large field, if the pesticides are sprayed manually, I'd be afraid 10 farmers would have to work the whole day. The machine can finish the job within an hour. However, mass production isn't the only way to bring farming methods into the 21st century. There are many ways to modernize agriculture. Farmers should not only provide agricultural products, they should also benefit from the ecological value of the countryside. Parts of Yan's fields are leased to a pomegranate grower. The rent and Yan's salary as a worker in the pomegranate farm make him one of the richest people in the village. I am good at all kinds of work in the fields. My skills and their management are bringing me an even better life. The once unknown Xiaogang village has earned its place on China's political map, and the story of Yan and his fellow villagers epitomizes the country's spirit to succeed. Yan believes signing the secret deal was the proudest thing he has done in his whole life. Xu Daoqin, CGTN, Anhui Province.